Ajmal Silver Shade Fragrance Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little fragrance review on a fragrance called Silver Shade by the House of Ajmal. Now, one of my subscribers commented on one of my videos that one of the better Silver Mountain Water clones out there was this Silver Shade. I think I was talking about maybe trying to buy a different clone of Silver Mountain Water. I had tried Armov's uh, Derby Clubhouse Silver before, which I actually kind of liked because I did get a compliment with it and it had this really off-putting quality for sure and a lot of people didn't like it for that, but I was kind of able to avoid it a little bit and the, off and the off-putting quality was mainly when you're up close. Jumping into this one, I was very interested to see, you know, how this compares. Is it gonna be stronger or weaker? And then also I tried one of like the, the Clubhouse Blanche or something or Law Adventure Blanche or something and it's supposed to copy Silver Mountain Water as well. I felt that Law Adventure Blanche was just a little bit feminine, although I found it, found it to be much higher quality. Silver Mountain Water is a unisex fragrance, but I just found the original Silver Mountain Water to lean a little bit more masculine. Even though you really could wear it for anybody, I just found it a certain masculine must that I liked in it and then I felt that was gone in the Law Adventure Blanche. Let's jump into the notes of this fragrance. Lime, bergamot, lemon, black currant, violet leaf, plum, iris, rose, jasmine, white musk, ambergris, sandalwood, cedar, tonka bean, and civet. Now, I don't know where they got all these notes from. It smells like Silver Mountain Water to me, and I've just been really busy. I do have a little decan of Silver Mountain Water. I just did not test it against this, but I know how Silver Mountain Water smells. And then I also remember how Derby Clubhouse Blanche smells. I definitely remember a strong, noticeable, weird vibe that I didn't really like, although like I said, I could overcome it. This one to me just smells like, like Silver Mountain Water. What I like about it is that it does not really smell feminine, and then it also does not have any of that nasty smell that you got in Derby Clubhouse Silver. I don't smell any of it in here, and I really like that. Situations this is good for at work, I would say this is pretty great for work. I don't know what it is, it's just, it smells good, it's not too in your face, it's not too clubby, it's not too sweet, it just works good for work. Date, I would say this is okay to good. I would not say great because I can think of some other more sexy fragrances for that, but I think this is okay to good. It's not the best thing, but it's also not the worst thing, and it would probably be a little better in a little bit of heat, although you could pretty much wear this fragrance year round. I would say the gym is also very good as well. It's just an everyday type of scent. I've said this in my other videos, but Silver Mountain Water has these citrusy qualities that are good for summer, and then it also has this kind of cool metallic smell in a good way that kind of makes it easier to wear in things like spring and fall, maybe not winter, but it's just overall very easy to wear fragrance. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is very, very similar to Silver Mountain Water, all those little nuances that you smell. Like Silver Mountain Water is supposed to have like a little bit of a green tea vibe, very citrusy, but also like metallic-y in a good way, musky kind of smell. And I definitely smell a little black currant in there. To me, I smell pretty much everything I remember about Silver Mountain Water, I smell in here and I really appreciate that. There's no off-putting vibes, none of that. Um, Derby Clubhouse Silver vibes, I know a lot of people were turned off by that. Maybe I would be nowadays too because Club de Nuit Intense Man, I've kind of fallen out of love with. This one does not have any of those off-putting vibes, which is absolutely great. And then the last pro is that it's really good in a lot of situations, like I was saying before. Uh, probably everything but Super, super high heat and super, super cold, probably not. I mean, I could really bet on this on almost any situation, almost any type of weather. I really wouldn't mind wearing it. Let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. The cons, the really the only one that I have is that it has lower projection. It's okay, it's, it's solid, and Silver Mountain Water didn't have the best projection anyways, at least the newer batches. And then uh, I remember Clubhouse Silver, didn't have the best projection as well, so that's kind of just within the DNA of this one, but can't really think of, of too many other cons. It's not expensive. There's no off-putting vibe. It doesn't really smell overly feminine. I just don't really have too many bad things to say about this for being a Silver Mountain Water clone. If I were to give it a smell rating, I'd give it between an eight to an 8.5. 
Uh, this was the first time I smelled this fragrance. I'd probably go 8.5 to a 9 because I do like Silver Mountain Water. Likeability, I'm gonna have to go 8 to 8.5 as well. Um, it's just very solid across the board. I think it is likable, but there's certain fragrances that I think would be more likable than this, but overall I do find it to be very likable and very enjoyable. Then longevity and projection, I'd probably give it like a 6.5 to a 7. I've said this a lot in my other videos, but I'm comparing this to every single fragrance ever made that I've ever smelled, and certain other DNAs, uh, they're almost like cheating because they can last, you know, seven to 10 days on clothes, or you get these crazy projections, you know, maybe four or five hours projection, maybe you could smell it getting whiffs off your body 10 hours later. So I'm comparing this to all fragrances and there's definitely fragrances that are really weak that I will go down to a four or five rating with. So 6.5 to a seven isn't really talking badly about it, but have you tried anything else from this house? Ajmal, I've never really tried it. It almost sounds like Armoff. I also put how much I paid for it down below, probably 20, $25 on eBay. But anyways, guys, let me know what other fragrances I should try next. Let me know what kind of Solar Mountain Water Clone you feel like is the best. Run the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of your guys' help because you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.